What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and in today's lesson we're going to be learning about hill forts of the Iron Age. But, before we begin, hit that subscribe button and get ready to do the starter questions on screen right now. The Stone Age came to an end when people realised that cutting down trees with rocks was a terrible idea. Come on, what were you thinking? It takes forever and it really hurts your hand. But somehow people discovered that by using heat they could extract metal from rocks, which then could be used to make much stronger tools and weapons than those terrible pointy rocks of the Stone Age. By extracting a metal called copper and a metal called tin through a process called smelting and mixing them together, people had discovered how to make bronze, which was much stronger than rock. And so it's time to say goodbye to the Stone Age and hello to the Bronze Age. Bye Stone Age. Hi Bronze Age. The Bronze Age didn't come to an end until people discovered an even stronger metal called iron. And so it was time to say goodbye to the Bronze Age and hello to the Iron Age. Bye Bronze Age. Hi Iron Age. Tools and weapons were not the only thing to change during these ages. Homes also changed from caves and basic shelters in the Stone Age to roundhouses in the Bronze Age and finally many roundhouses built together in a community on top of a hill known as a hill fort. During the Iron Age, the main people living in Britain and Ireland were a bunch of wild, artistic and nature-loving people called the Celts, who had arrived all the way from Europe. The word Celt meant barbarian, and they lived in many tribes across Britain and Ireland. The Celts mainly lived in roundhouses, which had thatched roofs and walls made from wattle and daub. Inside the roundhouses was a fire used for cooking and for warmth, as well as a bed made from hay, feathers and animal skins for sleeping. In some other fancier houses would have been a loom for spinning wool. Sounds like a really fun pastime. As well as an oven for cooking pizza. They didn't, they didn't have pizza? What do you mean they didn't have pizza? For cooking things. I don't know. The first hill forts were built in 800 BCE. Hill forts were just a bunch of roundhouses built together in a settlement cleverly on top of a hill. What's so clever about building a bunch of homes on top of a hill? If anything, that's a terrible idea. You have to walk up a giant hill to get your home every day. I mean, nobody wants to do that much exercise. The reason people made hill forts was they had the advantage of being able to spot their enemies from very far away. Not to mention it took a lot of energy and time to get to the top of the hill. And who knows, maybe if some of their enemies were really overweight, they probably would have had a heart attack before they got up to the top. Just give me a minute. In addition, hill forts were often surrounded by mounds or trenches, as well as defensive walls or fences called stockades, to protect the settlement inside even more. Hill forts weren't just good for staying safe from your enemies, but were also areas to control farming, practice worship, and protect animals and food from thieves, raiders, and other wild animals. Although the wooden fences and roundhouses have rotted away over time, the mounds and trenches that these people dug around their hill forts as a defensive strategy can still be seen to this very day. Rings of trees that surrounded hill forts can also be seen around Britain and Ireland to this very day. The reason they still exist is because farmers didn't cut them down as they thought the rings of trees belonged to fairies and that they would be cursed if they cut down the trees. Um, yes, that's actually true. Farmers thought they'd be cursed by fairies. Hill forts with stone walls can still be seen to this very day because of course stone doesn't rot away. Let's take a look at some hill forts that I visited.
the Bronze Age when people realised that iron was a much stronger metal for making tools and weapons. Roundhouses were circular homes made from wattle and daub walls and thatched roofs. Celtic settlements were built on top of hills surrounded by trenches, mounds, walls and fences to protect them from their enemies. Inside of hill forts people also farmed, practiced worship and had their food protected. If you enjoyed this video give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more cool and interesting educational videos. If you enjoy learning about homes in the Iron Age why not check out my video on homes in the Stone Age where I actually build my own Stone Age shelter. And as always thanks for watching, see you next time.